chapter 1083 of One Piece, The Truth About That Day. You know, apart from the fact that Oda has been giving us bangers after bangers, something that I am really appreciating is the fact that he's not leaving us on like super huge, I guess, cliffhangers and then going somewhere else because he does have a tendency to do that sometimes where he leaves us on a big cliffhanger and we don't get back to it for like weeks on end. But with that title, The Truth About That Day, it seems like we are jumping straight into Sabo and what he found at Marijuana. Cover request by Miruko, Doflamingo tending to a fallen chick and making a nest with his coat. That's so wholesome. That's so wholesome, but Doflamingo still has a uh, still has a frown. He still does not look happy. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> okay. So, uh, no notes. Too early for notes. Kamabaka Queendom. What did Sabo see? We accomplished everything we set out to do. All three objectives were taken care of. We officially declared war by destroying the Celestial Dragon symbol. We rescued Kuma-san and freed as many slaves as possible. Finally, we managed to find and destroy the Holy Land's food reserves. Ooh, okay. That's an interesting way for the battle. I mean, it makes much more sense. I mean, it does make much more sense, but yes, very practical. Um... Although, I have to say, I don't know about this, because it is the Holy Land after all. And that means... That means that they can always just get... They could just raise the taxes in a lot of countries. And sure, I'm sure that that could also go in the Revolutionary Army's favour, because that would mean people become more disgruntled and therefore more, I guess, motivated to go against and rise up against the celestial dragons and against like you know the nobles and the world nobles but it also means that people are gonna starve anyways so what was the fallout it was nothing to sneeze at but we got the world's attention and the navy ended up sending in the big guns meanwhile we triggered uprisings in 12 nations holy crap where we held strong influence, eight of which were successful. Well, you say eight were successful, but one of them vanished, the kingdom of Lulusia. The headline censored everything, but the seven others have all declared their intent to no longer pay the celestial tribute or comply with the exploitative exporting of their resources. On top of that, the Revolutionary Army is attacking government supply carriers all over the world to stop resources from reaching Marijuana. They say the Holy Land's high up location makes it an, impenetra an impenetrable fortress. But we'll see how they how like they how they like living under siege. They'll finally get a taste of what it's like to live in poverty and go hungry. Here! That's what I that's what I call a result. Indeed, we may not be able to cut off their supplies, but we're squeezing them slowly but surely. They must be struggling by now. As expected, though, they're not a foe who will just take this lying down. Our real battle is when... Wow, the lore deepens. Our real battle will start when they mobilize... God's knights. Oh, of course, of course, look at Oda just knows exactly what to do to raise the freaking hype. Look at that swordman. Look at that man with the freaking sword. <laughs> if you want someone to get excited, all you have to do is show them that they're, the, they're a sword fighter. You realize you will be their number one target, right, Sabo? Or should I start calling you Flame Emperor Boy? Flame Emperor Boy? <laughs> I'm not too hot on that name. It doesn't matter what the truth behind King Cobra's assassination is. The news reports have made you a hero already. In the eyes of revolutionaries everywhere, authority figures within the world government are hated for being subhuman monsters. While there are certainly many malignant, power-hungry, 
despots who deserve that reputation, there are also a number of intelligent and fair rulers too. And Arabaster's King Cobra was in a class of his own. Everyone considered him to be an outstanding sovereign. Unfortunately, misinformation spread faster than nuances like that. This might be cold to say, but while I feel bad for what happened to King Cobra, I don't know if I'm ready for this. I think I can live with the way this all played out if it helps fuel the flames of rebellion. <laughs> Sabo! Sabo's a ends to a mean, uh, means to an <laughs> ends to a mean. Sabo's a means to an end type of guy, huh? I like that he's definitely becoming much more developed as a character. <clears throat> Gulp. My, you really are unshakable. Then spit it out already! Slam! What really happened? Is there any truth behind this scoop? Oh shit, we're gonna find out. We all shed tears over this. Desperately trying to find an explanation because we all wanted to believe in you. Silence. Over a month ago, at the home of the gods in the holy land of Marijua, not long after the reverie began. They're attacking the home of the gods! Get out here and help us, you lousy bureaucrats! They blow up the storehouse! The intruders are with the Revolutionary Army. We're under attack! It's the four captains! This is outrageous! First they attacked our beloved symbol, and now the plebs have taken away our exquisite food! Does the jealousy of these vermin know no bounds? I don't even know want to keep the heads! Just dispose of them at once! After that, summon all those dreadful bodyguards and have them executed! Those miserable wretches allowed, them, allowed this to happen on their watch. You depraved snail! I told you- Oh no! This is how- This is how Oda-san gets us. Oh god. It's not as brutal as when we saw- When we saw it with um- With Kuma, but still, god. What would you do if something were happening to me? Ugh. I've had enough. I'll walk myself. Consider yourself fired, you useless piece of trash. I wonder what happens if you're fired. I mean, that doesn't actually sound so bad. Pshung. Kachink. Shoop. Wah! My gun! Who do you think you are? <sighs> Crawling suit. Escape to the east of the city. What? Uh, okay. It's the Revolutionary Army! Get Saint Pluming to safety! Let's riddle this gun with bullets! Blast him till there's nothing left! Huh? Don't tell me he is. There, is re there really is nothing left. Shh, what is that black fog? Obeli, shoot! Northern captain of the Revolutionary Army, Karasu, ate the suit suit fruit. Laser shooter! Bing, 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 bing. Hurry up! Gather at the east side of the city! We're gonna get you out of here, okay? I, thank you so much! Thank you so much! You can thank us when you're free! Lindbergh, southern captain of the Revolutionary Army. They're really going at it over there. Oh, we gotta see. They're headed this way. Hurry up and release everyone. Leave it to me. Cro oh, Karasu versus Fujito. Are we find? Are we seeing how? and come. This is like my worst nightmare. If I ever had to face off Karasu in real life, I think I would die. Honestly, I would give up. Mm -mm. Could not do it. Ugh. Just the thought of all those crows attacking me. Oh my god, making me so uncomfortable. 
Fujitora is a stronger man than I. Ugh. Oh my! This boy sure likes to play rough. Oh, Molly! Western captain of the Revolutionary Army, Morley. That's it, your Kugu. You're the ones destroying the city! Whoosh. Just cough up where your leader went off to. You shouldn't sniff around and talk. So you shouldn't sniff around and snork people. Stalk people. Snork people. You sh okay, trial number three. You shouldn't sniff around and stalk people, you dirty little perv. Ah! Fujitora, what do you think you're doing? I'm calling in a meteor strike. Don't be an idiot. That's a terrible idea. There are two admirals here. Oh, the devil fruits already started. There are two admirals here. If we were anywhere but the home of the gods, that would be more than enough power to turn any battlefield upside down. The CP0. Even if you ignore the handicap, the revolutionary captains are doing well to stand their ground. Cha pa 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 pa. Yo yo -y. Just goes to show there are no pushovers. Bring ding. Sabo, don't you have the keys to these collars yet? I just found out where they keep them. It won't be long. <sighs> Lindbergh, what's up? Kuma son's in Pangea Castle too. What? I just spotted him with that dumb father and son saint duo, Roswald and Charlos. They must still be looking to get revenge for all that thing we heard about at that public courtyard. What the hell? Mm -hmm. he, hasn't give, he hasn't given up on getting Shirohoshi. I'll make him my pet. I won't forgive them for using Kuma-san like this. Yeah, we won't let them get away with it. Morley, make sure everything's ready. Oh, it's all coming to a head. Okie dokie. Oh, wait, sorry, me. No, that's not, that's not, <laughs> that's not Shirohoshi. Okie dokie. <sighs> Father. Can't you buzz off? I'd rather have the Admiral Garp's... I'd rather have Vice Admiral Garp's help. Don't worry, we'll protect you. Like you protected Shirohoshi? Oh wait, you didn't. Oh, Bibi. You tell him, girlfriend. And that creep's definitely going to target her again. I'm afraid only King Cobra has been permitted an audience with the five elders. Oh, shoot. It was the freaking... Oh my god, it was the Gorosei. It was the actual Gorosei that did it. No freaking way. <sighs> but, <sighs> Chaka, Pell, this won't take long. And it would be tedious for you to wait outside. No. Oh, man. He asked them to, don't, to not even come in. How? Why has he aged this much in two years? How has King Cobra aged this much in just two years? Oh, no. It'd be much better use of your time to look out for Vivi. She's always been a mischievous one. You can't let her out of your sight for us. Oh, no. This is the end! This chapter was too short! Was way too freaking short! No! No! Oh. Oh. What is the purpose of this meeting? Dun 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 dun! Oh man! I spoke too soon! I spoke way too freaking soon. I literally just said at the beginning of the chapter, I'm loving that Oda isn't keeping us all on edge and that he's coming back week after week and not leaving us on cliffhangers. And this is the cliffhanger. Oh, man. What? Oh. What? What? Oh, man. I don't, I, I don't know what to say. I, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. Where do, where do we even start? Where do we even start with this? <laughs> oh, I feel like I got cheated.
I feel like I got trolled. I really do. I feel like I got trolled. Man, that's crazy. But lots of lots of deeper lore dropped here, you know? Lots of deeper lores. Oh lore or lore or lore or lore or lore or lore lore Matie. The God's Knights. I mean, yeah, you would definitely say that um, he, the one swordsman, looks like Shanks. Definitely does look like Shanks. Wouldn't it be crazy? Imagine, imagine the red hair pirates are actually the God's Knights. How, uh, <laughs> um, the red hair pirates are the God God's Knights, and that's why Shanks is granted an audience. He was he was evil Shanks after all. <laughs> he was there was an evil Shanks. There was always merit to that evil Shanks theory, huh? <laughs> 